Mustangs. Today is Monday, March 9th, 2020, and I'm a Klubinski. Please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, to our top story. Several FSA students competed at the Fulton County Regional Science and Engineering Fair on February 8th, before middle school science fair competitors advanced to the state science fair. Navia N. and Teledos model an app to reduce antibiotic resistance, and Nirov S. biometric garage door opener. Also, Navia Nirov and one of MNT's very own editors, Tom, will be recognized for their additional awards at the regional fair. These students spent months working on their projects, addressing needs using technology, engineering, and scientific studies. Nirav S. and Navia N. are advancing to the Georgia Science and Engineering State Fair, which will take place on March 26th through the 28th at the University of Georgia. From there, they will have the opportunity to advance to the International Science and Engineering Fair in California. The Georgia Science and Engineering Fair affords students the opportunity to showcase their research and connect with professional scientists. Now, let's take a look at FSA's mission statement. To deliver an educational framework designed to achieve the highest academic results and instill the enduring strength of character by leveraging innovation in STEAM curriculums for college preparedness and lifelong student success. High school beta clubs collecting toiletries, food, and other donations to support the U.S. Army. This fundraiser will continue until March 12th, and donation boxes are found in the lobby next to the stairs in the mornings from 7.30 to 8 a.m. High school beta club members will be present at the donation table, although donations at any other time are welcome. FSA is participating in a program called Crayola Color Cycle. This program was created to teach students the importance of recycling and saving the environment. 37% of waste is disposed in some sort of landfill, 8% of which is disposed in sanitary landfills with landfill gas collection systems. 17% of air pollution is used from waste burning, and Crayola used to burn the plastic increasing air pollution. So now, instead of burning the old products, in this program Crayola collects donations of markers from any brand from schools all over the country and recycles them to make new products. So find any used or dried product with or without a cap and drop it off in the bin in the front lobby. We should always keep the vision of FSA in mind. Fulton Science Academy Private School endeavors to be a nationally ranked and recognized school for pre-K through 12th grade, serving advanced and gifted student populations committed to academic success, civic responsibility, global citizenship, and high ethical values within a safe environment that celebrates diversity and is nurtured by the collaborative efforts of its stakeholders in the broader community. It's time for our quote of the day. Today's quote comes from Woodrow Wilson, an American politician, lawyer, and academic who served as the 28th President of the United States. We grow great by dreams. According to the Weather Channel, it looks like temperatures will range from the average highs in the 50s to the average lows in the high 30s on the weekend. It will be sunny, but there's also a 50% chance of rain. Enjoy the sun while it's out. It's time for our joke of the day. What do you give a sick lemon? Lemonade! Before we go, and in keeping with trending international news, we have a very important reminder from the World Health Organization, CDC, and local health and school authorities to practice these healthy preventative habits. This is not just with the coronavirus, but for all types of flu and viruses. Remember to wash your hands with soap regularly, try best not to touch your face, cover your mouth when sneezing and coughing, and don't share personal items such as earbuds, phones, hats, and food utensils. If you're sick, please stay at home. Practicing these preventative basic habits can go a long way in keeping us healthy. Also check the school-wide newsletter in your email for updates and other health tips. And that's a wrap. Thanks for joining us today. See you right here on Wednesday for another edition of Mustang News. Remember, if you haven't as yet, subscribe to Mustang News via FSA's YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. I am Nicole Dubinsky, and remember Mustangs, we are hashtag stronger together.